Hello everyone, and my name is iTrooper, and welcome back to another video. Today I'm showing you guys how to install automatic Roblox into your game. This is a currently trending mod on LSPDFR. It's been a while since I've hopped in here with a trending mod, so I thought I would do one today. And I know a lot of you guys will be wanting to install this, since it is an actually pretty cool mod, and it is way better than some of the Roblox mods we've had in the past, especially the one that everybody uses at the minute, which is stop the pad out of a backup. It's not the best, and you guys will know when you spawn it in, you ask for a roadblock or spikes or something along the lines, they never actually spawn in on the right road, especially if you guys are on the highway. So, install this. All you guys are going to want to do is hit download this file, agree and download, and install the latest version available to you at the current time of downloading. Click here to speed it up a little bit. And once it's done, open up the download file like so. And all you guys are going to want to do is if I bring it from my other screen right here, is go inside the Grand Theft Auto V file and you'll have your basic GTA 5 files and plugin files. So install this, what you guys want to do is find your GTA 5 main directory. So to do that, for Epic Games and Rockstar Games, your GTA 5 main directory and how to get to it will be down in the description below. But for those guys on Steam, I'm going to show you guys how to get to that right now. So open up your file explorer and then go to whatever drive your Steam is installed on. Plug on files 86. And then Steam, Steam apps, and then find your common folder. And this is where your GTA 5 will be installed. Unless, like me, you have it under a custom directory, which just minuses the program files 86 pretty much. But once you've got your GTA 5 folder, make sure you're in your modded one, not your clean one, the correct modded version. I know a few of you guys will have some different modded files. And what you guys are going to want to do is we're not going to install this Rage Native UI file because it's probably not the latest updated version. I'm not saying it might not be. I don't know, you can't tell unless you install it and then it crashes some mods. So we don't actually need to install this unless you don't have Rage Native UI already installed, which most of you guys will. If you do install this and it is outdated, then it will crash most mods like EUP and Ultimate Backup since they are needed to be ran on the latest version of Rage Native UI. And that is normally the reason why most of your guys' LSPFRs are crashing is because you're replacing the Rage Native UI files. To install this, what you guys want to do is just select these two files right here by holding control and left click. Simply drag and drop them into your game like so. Go into your plugins folder and go into LSPDFR. You should be able to see here that automatic Roblox is successfully installed. And now if you went to the readme right here, it will tell you the key, which is default key X. If you do want to change that, all you guys are going to want to do is head here to your any configuration settings file. Right click and open it with Notepad++ or just open it with Notepad in general. And here you can change your key and your modifier key, which adds a second key to press to enable it. You can change it from X, you can keep it as X, you can set it to any key on your keyboard, just literally naming it. So if you wanted it to be F3, just type F3. If you want to keep it X, you can keep it X. I'm going to keep it X for now since that works for me. You can also configure a bunch of settings here. It pretty much says what they do. So for example, you know, you can change it if automatic Roblox should be enabled during pursuits and it can be changed through the game menu. I don't like having this on when I was using it, so I'm going to change this to false, but you can. As it says here, you can change it through the game menu anyway, but it's easier just to load into the game with the settings you want. So you can change it through here. The pretty nice config files, you can change almost everything in the plugin, which is really useful, especially for those of you guys who want to do YouTube videos on it. So it's a really, really good mod. I hope you guys did find this video useful. If you did, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below what tutorial you want to see next or what video you want to see next. Check out all the links down in the description below, including my Patreon if you want to support the channel, and also Zap Hosting for 20% off using code Highway Trooper off all their hosting servers. That goes Minecraft, you've got 5M, you've got RareDem, and tons of different servers you can host in there. So hope you guys did find this video useful. Everything I just said, check out the description, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers and goodbye.